Hello Pisces and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your love reading for singles, for couples, and for a nice general um, love spread here for October 2018 for you guys. Hope everything is going well. Hope September went well for you guys. Alright, so let's see what we got coming in for October 2018 for love. General love, relationships. Okay, what will be happening in that area of the lives of my Pisces? And remember, guys, these readings will not resonate with every single Pisces out there. It's just not possible to pick up on every single message for every single Pisces. So don't be upset if it doesn't um, resonate with you. It's just that these messages needed to resonate with somebody else for um, one reason or another, or I was able to pick up on a different energy um, and not yours, okay? So, let's see what's coming in for love for you guys this month. And if you guys are looking to book a private reading, all my readings, you can take $5 off of them. And all the information on booking and the services I offer is right below this video in the description box. Okay, Pisces, let's see. Can they expect this October 2018 in love and romance? What will be coming in? Energy surrounding them with love and romance this month. Any energy surrounding the love and romance of my Pisceans this month. Wow, wishes coming true, guys. That's an amazing card to have at the beginning of October here. Wow, two nines? Two nines. These are both the best nines in the deck, too. Pisces. These cards are just coming right out for you, okay? Let's see where the third one is going to be. Nine of Cups and the Nine of Coins. Wow, wishes coming true. Feeling like your best self. Um, or, you know, you get to be with somebody um, or you're, you know, having a dream come true with somebody who you just think is your perfect partner. Um, what else is coming in this month for my Pisces, for love and romance energies this month? Things they need to know about love and romance this month. Ooh, itchy nose. Magician. You guys are manifesting this into existence or maybe this is something that you're realizing that you want and so you're realizing that this person is your dreamer. Um, you know, you are at this really amazing point here with your love and relationships. Um, you guys are feeling like um, maybe you know who you want to be with or you know finally like this is the type of life, this is the type of relationship and love that I want in my life here. How can I get it? Um, and it feels like maybe in September you're getting it um, and then by the beginning of October, you're realizing, like, this is where I wanted to be. This is the person I want to be with. Like, this whole energy is attached to somebody or some love situation in your life right now. It could be that you guys are on the up and up. You're seeing affections coming back from somebody who is your dream person. And you're like, wow, I have I never got over this. Or I really wanted this to happen with this person. I can't believe this is coming in right now. Um, the magician is using all of your um, abilities here to move forward with this person to um, really make sure, like, you know, bring this love into existence. Whatever this relationship is, it's like you guys are bringing it into existence with your power, Pisces. Um, there's the moon right behind it, which is your card, which to me is like you guys are going to be very powerful around that Taurus full moon on the 24th of October. So pay attention to that. That could really ground you. Again, there's that nine of coins, that energy. Um, that's a very grounding. It also speaks of, you know, the ninth month, which is September. Maybe this, um, you saw that this, this dream began or, you know, you realize the type of person or the type of situation in your love and relationship um, area that you wanted to be with or be in. Like if you saw somebody, you're like, I think I really do want to be with this person. Um, it could be that this has happened in September and that now this is um, coming to fruition or you can see this finally actually happening this month. Something that started in September. Okay. So Pisces, let's check out my single Pisceans. Um, what deck do I want to use? I think I want to use my Clint deck here. So oh, before I forget, I'm going to be using this for my single Pisceans, the Clint Tarot, my Gustav Clint deck. And then I have my Hobbit Tarot deck um, for the general spreads and for um, my couple Pisceans, okay? So single Pisceans, what do we need to know for October 2018? What's coming in for my single Pisceans? What can they expect this month? What kind of Offers, opportunities, coming together, reconciliations, relationship situations. My single Pisceans who are looking for love or have somebody on their mind that they are trying to get with. What can we expect here? 
this October 2018. Okay, so first we get the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. So maybe, um, you know, you've been working hard or even trying to find, you're going to be working hard and trying to build yourself up for relationships or understand, you know, hey, maybe I could change this about myself or, you know, maybe I could be earning a little bit more money so I can go out more. There's some work involved at the beginning of the month here. What else is coming for this month for love and romance for you guys? Oh my gosh. Wow, guys. Four of Wands. And I do believe in your main spread, you also got the Four of Wands in the same deck. Um, and I've done a ton of readings since then, so that's pretty crazy. Um, so some of you guys could be meeting your Twin Flame this month. You could have been working. Um, wow. And it could be a slow... You know, whatever this person has. Um, and they might not be, like, really, really quick about it. But again, there's that Earth sign. So it could be an Earth sign. It could also be happening around that Taurus full moon on the 24th. But it feels like you're, twin, you're coming into your twin flame here and there's stability, there's long-term commitment, there's, you know, long-term feelings here. Somebody's coming forward with a message, Knave of Wands. So, wow, Pisces, what's coming forward? And this one really wanted to come out too, even though I haven't been pulling this many for everybody. But this one I just I couldn't ignore. Now I'm glad I didn't ignore it because we have the Ace of Swords here, guys. These are some incredible cards. Wow, a decision. Someone's coming forward to tell you something, to offer you a decision, or to tell you that um, you need to make a decision, or you're telling somebody else that you know might want to have a that you might want to have a relationship with a twin flame. That you're like, I want long term commitment. You need to make a decision here. Like you need to. Here are my feelings. Like you need to do something about this now. <laughs> okay, so let's pull some clarifiers for you guys. Clarify the seven of pentacles and the four of wands for my Pisceans, for my single Pisces this month. Please clarify the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands for my single Pisces for the month of October. What are the messages for love and romance for my single Pisces? Eight of Cups. Moving on from one place to another. So you could be trying to understand... Um, you know, how to move forward into this new relationship, how to leave, um, you know, you're, if you guys have been single for a really long time, um, or you guys are trying to figure out how to move forward towards somebody, um, you're working on yourself here. You're working on figuring out how do I, leave, how do I move towards this? How do I move towards this twin flame? How do I bring in this commitment, bring in this um, energy of a real relationship, which is what I want. I want to move on towards this new path of love. I really do, finally. So... That's what I feel like you guys are feeling. However, there needs to be work done on maybe um, your aspect here. How do you come across towards people in love and romance? How do you communicate in relationships? You need to look at those aspects of yourself and leave some of those things from the past behind because they don't serve you. And they're not going to help you um, in having a successful relationship in the future. I don't know. I'm just getting the message that some of you guys need to make some changes in the way you communicate if you're not direct enough. You guys are, you know, you hide your feelings, you hide your true emotions, your true feelings a lot, which Pisces are wants to do. Um, you need to be able to learn how to come forward and tell people how you really feel and be direct in relationships is what I'm getting for some of you. There's some aspects of yourself that you need to work on so that you can properly move towards this relationship if you really want it because you're being presented with your twin flame, it feels like, um, this month. I, I've gotten this card in both your regular reading and um in this i know that so this is pretty amazing here so continue to clarify the four of wands the knight of pentacles wow you get yeah a choice maybe you're at a crossroads you don't know which way to go here you don't know if you should move forward into this you don't know what this offers it kind of feels scary. You're like, I don't really know what's coming in here. I know there's a decision. I know there is um, a choice that needs to be made, and yet I don't know which one to make. Please clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Knave of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knave of Swords, please clarify their messages. Wow, there you guys are, the moon. Again, it also speaks of confusion, but this is your card. This is the Piscean card here, the moon. Um, and the moon 
is, you know, the inner feelings, your inner confusion. Again, hidden emotions. There are things here that you need to release. I do feel, Pisces, very much that you guys need to have a release this month. Whatever is brewing under the surface, whatever has you at this stalemate with with this twin flame situation or whatever is um you want to move towards in love, you guys need to release your emotions. You need to choose to release it to somebody or something. If you, have, if you are having feelings for somebody, you need to talk to them about it because this is eating you alive. Wow, here we get it. That page of wands. If you don't have like, um, you could have a new offer of a new start, a new adventure. It doesn't have to be a fire or an air sign here. Um, with the Knave of Swords and the Page of Wands. It just feels like there's a message coming in very quickly um, for a new start. A decision needs to be made here. You, you've been feeling this coming for a while, it feels like. Some of you guys know that you are at this stalemate position. Um, interesting. Continue to clarify the Knave of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. Last ones, Knave of Swords and Ace of Swords. What do my Pisces, what do my single Pisces need to know about where they will be at the end of this month? About that Ace of Swords, this decision, this offer that's coming in. What do they need to know at the end of October here? Again, we could also be talking about that Taurus full moon. We might want to ground ourselves more practically into relationships and start something solid and real for once. Six of Pentacles, reciprocation, also something from the past, possibly, possibly um, a past relationship, somebody that you've had a connection with in the past, um, soul contract, somebody needs to come back to work on a soul contract here, or you're finally getting that balance out, you're finally understanding the lesson with this person or this situation, so I do feel that whatever the situation, though this situation is, you know who this person is, you know what this situation is. And you know that, you know, there needs to be some work done on your part in order to reach this point of reciprocation, in order to reach the clarity that you want with this person that you think is your twin flame, that you feel strongly about here. You need to end this confusion, start something, but but to do that, you need to um, let go of something of the past. You need to make a choice to be bold and move forward and open your feelings up here this month, Pisces. These all speak of clarity, of message, of coming forward here, not hiding things. The moon here is you, is you below, and this is your energy, but, um, I mean, this is your card, but this is also saying that Taurus full moon is going to ground you and make you, I think, realize, hey, I need to move forward in a, in a more, in a stronger way. I need to move forward and really tell my truth here. I can't be hiding things under the surface if I really want to move forward, um, positively and directly in a love relationship. You can't be hiding it for... You can't be you can't be having all these things go on under the surface. So there needs to be work done, and that's what the month, this month is teaching you: is that in order to move forward into this desired relationship, this person, or this situation that you think is your twin flame, which is definitely I do believe your twin flame, and holds a lot of um, value, a lot of potential here. This could be a long term love and relationship with your twin flame. So don't push it away. Allow this in and release your feelings here. If you have feelings, talk about them to somebody. Okay, Pisces, you guys are like. Uh, known to just keep things in for way too long and then it's like 10 years later and you're like why am I still holding on to this <laughs> um because you didn't tell anybody about it and you know what you have to release okay you have to release this month it's really what I'm getting I'm surprised I don't see judgment because I'm getting this thing of being direct of releasing things from the past and moving forward in a new way approaching things differently in a more bold way for you guys um so let's see, my Piscean couples, what do you guys need to know this month? All my Pisces that are in relationships, that are married, that are in a monogamous or committed relationship together. And my monogamous, my, my couple Pisces, where are they going to be this October 2018? What do they need to know about their love and relationship situations for October 2018? Couple of Pisces, couple of Pisces. Ooh, a lot of foundation, a lot of abundance. Um, you're gonna start the month off feeling really good. Also, the Ten of Coins. I mean, is the card of October for me month wise. So yeah, it's gonna be a really abundant, really wonderful month. Uh, filled with harvest, filled with um, being financially stable, emotionally stable with your partner. You guys will be coming into money. 
um, and feeling really good about it for once. So what's coming in here for my couple Pisceans? For October 2018, couple Pisceans. Wow, love. Yeah, you guys have a renewal of love. Um, some of you guys will be getting proposed to or, you know, getting the, an offer like, do you want to move in together? Let's pool our sources together here. This is really, really amazing, beautiful love here. Wow, that's like, uh, you know, that's divine gifts of love, divine gifts of falling in love. It's the feeling of falling in love again. What is coming in here? Six of Wands. You guys are moving forward very positively on the right direction. Um, yeah, you guys are in a really good place. Um, those that are in relationships, it feels like you guys are really just feeling on top of the world in your relationship. These are all amazing cards, Pisces. Amazing. Oh, three of swords at the end of the month here. What? Heartbreak? Crazy. Okay, so let's, we're definitely going to pull some clarifiers here. Because that's a really weird way to end that. I don't feel like it's a break that maybe you guys are fighting and there's some heartbreak. Or, you know, what's going on here? Ten of coins, ace of cups for my sink, for my um, couple of Pisces. Ten of coins and ace of cups for a couple of Pisces here. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So you do have this offer of abundance, this offer of stability, this offer that could even be a proposal or, you know, um, a new solid foundation. Do you want to move in together? Do you want to pool our finances together? Do, um, or maybe someone is getting a job offer that is going to bring in a ton of abundance and stability and love into the, um, into the relationship. Maybe you guys could be able to afford to go on a vacation or, you know, have a renewal of love here. Wow. This came up in the single Piscean spread too. So this is interesting. Reciprocation, balance, um, you know, work, uh, soul contract work, soulmate work here. <clears throat> you could be helping them out. They could be helping you out. One of you guys is going to be in a better position to help the other out. And um, you guys will be working really well together. Also, it speaks of like, you know, a little bit of nostalgia, like sixes do, six and six here. Um, this person, you could have also, you know, you could be competing a, completing a soul contract with them. Like, you know, within relationships, like things are cyclical. One person can be on top. Other person is, you know, not maybe not doing so with finances and stuff. So you can help each other out here. And the Six of Wands is saying that you guys are going to be on top of the world. Or maybe your partner is. Um, and one of you guys can help the other here if you guys are in need of it. It also speaks of soul contract work um, and having it go successfully. You know, being able to move forward successfully because you guys have worked hard on the relationship and you've gotten through some things that you've come down here to learn about yourselves, about your personalities, about how you, um, about interpersonal relationships, it feels like. All right, then we get the king of wands. So some of you guys that are in relationships with um, fire signs, things are going pretty well. I don't know what's going on with this three of swords here, though. I really do want to look at that before I say anything else. What is going on? That this could also be passion moving forward passionately. The King of Wands represents um, a passionate start, or you know, real deep passion with somebody else. Communication, um, fiery, just I mean, like really just sensuality and passion. Wow, Three of Swords, judgment. So something is coming out here that could be a little bit heartbreaking. Um, <clears throat> you guys might need to be looking at um, an aspect of your relationship here. So it could feel like. You guys are really um, in a beautiful place, and yet at the end of the month, there is that heartbreak there that maybe something is coming to light, something is coming out. Um, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to pull some clarifiers for you guys with the heartbreak here. A couple Pisceans, what do they need to know about this Three of Swords situation with judgment here? Something is coming out, something is coming to light. Something is being removed for, it feels like the greater good. Is this a breakup? Is this a shakeup? Words? Some type of loss what's happening here this three of swords and judgment for my Pisceans in relationships the fool a new start hmm is there a breakup here gosh i hope not some of you guys could be you know feeling like things are going really well and then out of nowhere there could be a breakup i don't want to say that for all my pisces but you know if that feels like it's right for you Possibly, but I don't want to say that because that's really negative and that it doesn't feel Maybe you guys have a fight and you know something comes out and you're able to start over in a little bit like In a better way here. There's yeah, there's a choice you can move forward You have to leave something behind here though 
So you guys are, you know, working through maybe a problem in your relationship. Maybe there is a big fight. I've had, um, you know, the Three of Swords come out in really big fights for myself. And like, not for myself, in really big fights with my significant other and stuff. So it could be that. It could be that you have a heartbreaking situation that leads you to, or maybe they say something that hurts you that you realize, hey, I need to change this about myself if we want to be able to move forward in this relationship positively. Um, it also speaks of maybe um, something not going right and then you get to, guys get to move and you have to just kind of adopt this fool attitude of just got to move forward into this, treat it as a new adventure. Where do I want to go next? Where do we see ourselves here? It could be that that's what happens. Maybe this person is like says something that is like, oh, I don't know about the long term. And you're like, wait a second. We've been together for like so many years. I thought this was long term. And you guys might need to really have a conversation about that and be like, this is where I see this. Where do you see it? Because I want to like experience this relationship as an adventure and I want to have um, you know, the adventure of life with you, but um, we need to work on these things if we're going to make that happen because things have been really good, but what the hell is this? So that could be any type of situation for you guys here um, involving, you know, choices of like where you're moving, where you want to go, where you see yourselves. And if you want to um, move forward on a new adventure with this person or alone. So you might have that to have a choice there at the end of the month, like where do you see yourself going? Okay, that was a very interesting one, my couple Pisceans. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, check out all your Sun, Moon, and Rising videos for your love and for um, regular general and career for October 2018. Um, give me a like and subscribe. And um, if you guys are looking to book a private reading, all the information is right below this video in my description box and everything is five dollars off so check that out if you guys are looking for a little extra guidance this month happy halloween um thank you